Hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, I want to show you today a car that has an air conditioning problem. And uh, I haven't seen the problem yet, but I know it will be existing because you can watch my other video. The problem is that you got a leak. So I changed the condenser on the front, I changed the seals, and I changed the seals on the compressor. Unfortunately, when I do a vacuum test and compression test, when I pump it up with 10 bars, after half an hour it's 9.9 .9 bars so uh, it's having a leak a little bit of leak somewhere that I can't see with bubbles and that's why I'm gonna use this let's uh, make a little thumbnail okay um, actually it will be a better thumbnail with the, with the syringe that's a quick connector that goes on the low side and the vacuum pulls this UV die. Now, this is the die I'm going to use. Not sponsored or anything, just the cheapest one. It says here 250 milliliters and it says 7.5 milliliters for every 1.4 kilograms of refrigerant. This one is only 700 grams, so I'll still use 7.5 millimeter. Let's, uh, let's squeeze the bottle. Welcome in the video, come on this side. Come on this side. Okay, let's squeeze 7.5 milliliters. Yeah, just like this. I don't know if I need to shake it or not, but I think I don't need to. And now I'll we'll get to the uh, almost 8 milliliters. Okay. This is some kind of Synthetic coil or something, I don't know, I'm not sure what exactly it is. And now we go. Get it? Is that the thumbnail? I think that's the thumbnail. Now we'll get it like so. Okay. And you can see it's glowing even in the in the daylight. Now I will um, get you closer. <coughs> Don't forget I'm pulling vacuum. Yeah. And I'll continue pulling vacuum through the lead one. Okay, so we're on the low side. And low side is attached right there. Unfortunately, you can't see it, it's so deep. Um, I'll remove the port. There we go. Should I try? Let's try filming. How can you see? Ah, there we go. You can see. Now, the syringe, because of the vacuum, will pull itself in okay i'm pulling vacuum on this side and the vacuum will pull everything into the it's like magic trust me It's going in slowly. I was expecting to be a lot quicker, but 
still. I don't know if it's going in or it doesn't but it was a uh, oh yeah it is going in it was eight millimeters so now it's going in yeah slowly okay so it takes a little bit of time Okay, now, uh, next step will be, let me hook up the phone to the tripod. Okay, so I set up the tank, now it's at zero. Um, I think the system needs 700 grams, it doesn't have a sticker nowhere on the car. Usually, there is a sticker somewhere saying. Unfortunately, there is no. Let me check the door if lucky. Well, it doesn't say, but it's 700 grams. I checked on the internet as well. Now, we have the line here. I will just open. I opened it. We have 15 grams already flown into the pipe, which is good. Now the free on is sitting here. I'll just will charge on the low side, so I'll open the low side. And we have a little bit of free on started going. We have 30 35 grams. And now what I'm gonna do, I'll open the port here. Here is starting to flow, and we can see it's charging. I don't know if you can see, I can see, and we can also see it here. Now, maybe it wouldn't be able to charge at 700 grams, so when it stops, probably it's gonna stop around 400 or 500. We can start the car and just suck. A little bit more free on. If uh, if it gets to 670 on the scale without it, um, I'll just close the port and we know that there is around 40 grams inside the pipes. I'll we'll close this port. The port is closed. I'll open it on this side. And now when I start the car, the compressor will suck all this gas in. Now I know the compressor have a strange charge, but we're looking for the um, for the leak, don't forget the leak is very important.
Oh, I don't know where my video stopped, but um, I started the car. I opened this port and I closed the other one so it can just flow all of the remaining free ohm. That's the It's working, the fan is working, that's good. Now, the pressures are working, let's see if we got a cold air on this side. Eh? Well, we definitely do have cold air. It's cold enough to not be able to hold my hand. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I can hear the compressor got a little bit of a bearing issue, but that's not what we worry now. I'll get a UV light and we'll shine the light everywhere we can. I'll leave it running for a little bit. I'll shine the light and we'll see where we have a leak, if we can see it. If not, We'll drive tomorrow, we'll make a long trip and uh, we'll look again in the evening because I'm outside and I need to be dark to able to see any um, die. Unfortunately I was not able to locate any uh, problematic parts and any die you can see. I don't know if you can see, you can see little spots but nothing major. If it's major you'll be able to see a big leak. Even here you can see where I touched like can you see right there? Nothing here. Even you can see the cap how it's glowing. A little fingerprint right here. The pipe over there is glowing, but it's just from where I was changing the seals. And uh, I drove for a month, almost couldn't see anything. It's good to check right where the belt is and underneath as well. If we can see something, but no, nothing. This pipe as well, can you see, can you see, like little spray, but that's because of the thing. Well, unfortunately, we can't locate any leaks, because there is none probably. Unfortunately, uh, we'll have to uh, watch for another example this one fixed itself by the time uh, I changed all the stuff maybe it was a problem in my machine I hope this video is being helpful to you and I'll see you on the next one bye bye